So today we're gonna to be comparing the Umi Digi Power and the Blue Vivo 11. Stay tuned. Bad girl. Uh, I'm a nice guy. Look her in my cup, I gotta really toughen up. Yeah, nurse strap. So with the first thing that you can see here with these two devices, with me holding it like this, you can see that one is going to be built completely different when it comes to uh, overall fill in the hand here. Uh, but you do have similar layouts. With the Umidigi Power, you have a 16 megapixel camera and a five megapixel depth sensor, LED flash, fingerprint scanner, and branding on the back there. And with the Blue Vivo 11 here, you have a 16 megapixel sensor as well along with the five megapixel depth sensor, LED flash, all built into one piece there in the back. A fingerprint scanner and blue branding as well. You can see on the bottom of the devices here that the Blue Vivo 11 has a micro USB charging port along with the loudspeaker. And the Umanigi Power has a USB type C charging port, headphone jack and a loudspeaker as well. Now on the top of the Blue Vivo 11, you have a headphone jack, which is a positive. It's just that it's not on the bottom. Not a really a big deal. Now when we look at the side of the device here, you can see that you got a power button and a volume up and down rocker. And when you look on the left side here or the other side, you got your micro SD card slot and SIM tray slot. So you can put your SIM card in here and you know, get everything rocking. One thing I can mention immediately is that the Blue Wave 11, it's capable of working on Verizon with a update from Blue. You can send them an email, go to their website, send them an email, uh, give them the information that they require you to send them and they can actually push the update out to you so that you can get to the device working on Verizon Wireless if you're a Verizon Wireless customer. I didn't go through all that. One thing I was mentioning earlier is that the build quality on the Blue Vivo 11 is a lot better than what's on the Umidigi Power. You can feel the aluminum on the sides of it. You can tell that's a glass back there. It's actually a pretty well built phone. It feels very good in the hand. Uh, but one thing for sure, the battery life on the Blue Vivo 11 is not going to be as good as the Umidigi Power. Now, the Umidigi Power has a 5,000 mAh battery and it's nothing to write home about. I have another phone with that size battery and it's a lot better. And it probably has a lot to do with the processor that's inside of it and the fact that it has a lower resolution screen, but that's besides the point. Battery life, Umidigi Power takes that one immediately. When it comes to the quality of the pictures here that both devices take, it has to go to the Blue Vivo 11. It takes way better pictures. The camera on this device here, the Blue Vivo 11, is probably the best camera I've seen them have on a device that I purchased from them. By far the best camera that I ever use on a Blue Phone. It's so good that even a portrait mode is really good. Looking at the front of the phones here, both devices have a 16 megapixel camera in the front. And once again, that's better on the Blue Vivo 11. Picture taking quality, even the videos look better on the Blue Vivo 11 here. Now both devices have a notch. Um, one is considerably bigger than the other here. You can see with the Blue Vivo 11, it's a pretty big notch. It looks like a, um, a face is looking at you there. But with the Umidigi Power, we have a pretty tiny notch. Screen resolution is gonna be better on the Umidigi Power having a four HD screen and the Blue Vivo 11 having a 720p screen. But internally, this is where uh, things are a little bit different. Now with the Umidigi Power, we have the Helio P35 AI processor in it, four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. And you have Android 9.0. And with the Blue Vivo 11 here, we have the Helio P22 processor in it, which is, uh, I think it's clocked at two gigahertz and it has three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, along with Android 8.1. Now, the reason for this video here is because the Umidigi Power is about 140 bucks and even cheaper with a $10 coupon on Amazon. And you can probably find more than likely the Blue Vivo 11 on the website as well, on Amazon there and get it renewed for about 130 bucks. I believe you can even buy a brand new for about 160 bucks. So pretty similar when it comes to pricing here, but overall the Umidigi Power is probably gonna be the better phone because it has a little bit more RAM and a, uh, a little bit more internal storage. And it's gonna be running a later version of Android. So if that matters to you, like it matters to me, then this is definitely the one to go with. And if you need more battery, the Umidigi Power is the way to go. But if you want a little bit more style, a little bit, of a higher quality build, Blue Vivo 11 is the way to go. And also keep in mind, the Blue Vivo 11, like I said, has the better cameras. So if you're more so of a camera person, and you have about 160 bucks to spend on an unlock phone that's compatible with Verizon if you get it updated, and it's unlocked to all GSM carriers, the Blue Vivo 11, that's your friend. This is your friend right here, you hear me? This is your friend. Very, very, very good camera. So in the comment section, let me know. What would you prefer? 
a device that has a little bit more RAM, a little bit more storage, a bigger battery, and it's gonna be running a later version of Android, would you prefer the Umi G Power? Or a device that has a better build quality, a better camera, micro USB charging, also a little bit cheaper unlocked. Would you prefer the Blue Beaver 11? Let me know. But be sure to share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Peace.